Today, we're gonna to talk about, can I get a job with just HTML? But what about CSS? Okay, HTML and CSS. Learning to code can be stressful and hard, and that's why I was proud to write the book, Breaking the Code, that gives you those five essential steps to landing that first software job. Pick up your copy today at Amazon or any other major outlet. So breaking into web development can seem very intimidating because you don't know where to start and what you need to learn. The other thing that can happen is there's a lot of gatekeeping that goes on in the industry and people intimidate others and they just quit and never even start the learning journey. There's also this imposter syndrome that kicks in that even when you're learning, you don't know if you're ready for a job or when should I apply for a job and you never feel job ready. So what we're going to do is talk about the three levels to web development and talk about the types of jobs that you can get based on the skills that you have. We'll also, if you stick around, also apply the same method to mobile and desktop jobs as well. So let's talk about what kind of job can I get based on the skills that I have. Now we're gonna call this level one of knowledge, which is a knowledge of HTML and CSS. And that's kind of the beginning level when you're on your learning journey in web development. The question is, can I get a job with just knowledge of HTML and CSS? And the answer is absolutely yes. And what we're assuming here is that you can build a responsive website that looks good from mobile to desktop. Um, and you can build web pages that don't look like they're from the 1990s in GeoCities. So if you have the knowledge of HTML, CSS, and you can build a static website that looks good from mobile to the desktop, you absolutely can get a job doing this. Now, what kind of jobs can I get? Well, look for a couple of um, specific job titles when you look on job boards like indeed.com. So what I want you to look for is HTML email developer. And this person would be actually creating HTML emails and support the marketing department. You could also look at website editor, social media manager. And what these people are doing is changing content on a web page or creating posts to maybe Facebook, LinkedIn, that sometimes requires design skills and some kind of rudimentary knowledge of HTML and CSS to make it look good on these various platforms. You can also look at website support specialist. Um, these people are also troubleshooting websites or troubleshooting content or making things um, flow correctly, stand out correctly, and make sure that it appears correctly in all major browsers. Um, you also can look at content producer or editor. The same type of role here is as content flows through the, the publishing process, these people either make it or make sure that it looks good. And finally, you can look at a really a, a term that's been around for a long time, webmaster jobs, which, which those people are taking over the entire website uh, from content creation to content publishing. Now there's another piece in here that I will call level 1A, and you can look at WordPress developer. Now WordPress developer, you'll need a knowledge of HTML, CSS, and WordPress, or maybe even something like Drupal. But WordPress being the most dominant content management system is a very good skill that you could add to HTML and CSS to make sure you maximize your opportunities with this level one knowledge. So HTML and CSS is absolutely enough knowledge to get you a job. So let's talk about taking this to level two. What do I need to do um, what we call level two, and that's adding JavaScript to your HTML, CSS skills. Now, JavaScript allows you to manipulate the DOM um, from script, and this opens up a lot of interactivity on websites. So it becomes more than just a static web page. And so this gives you a lot of opportunity to take on roles that are called front end developer. So primarily you, when you look at indeed.com, you'll be looking for front end developer roles. And that's going to require that, you know, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now let's look inside this level two and let's call this level two A. And then level two A is like you take your HTML, your CSS, your JavaScript, and then you add a framework, a JavaScript framework on top of that. And those frameworks are something like jQuery, Vue, React, or Angular. And in the case of React and Angular, we're also moving into what we call level three. We'll talk about that in a second. But these frameworks allow you to take on 
more broader range of roles as you search through something like Indeed. And you see there's a lot of opportunities for just a front end developer. And these jobs pay pretty well too, somewhere in between the ranges of 50 to 70K as a front end developer, even higher depending on the company and the things they want you to do. Hey, if you're liking this video, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button and hit notifications to be made aware of all of our future great content. Hey, just down to smash the like button. And smash the like button. So let's talk about the top of this, which we're going to call level three, and that's called being a full stack developer. Now, what we need to add to our skill set here is we already know HTML, we know CSS, we know JavaScript, and now we're definitely adding a framework to our skill, which is like React uh, or Angular. We also can look at some server side languages that we have to have, which means that you're going to add C Sharp, Java, or PHP to your toolkit. Now, React and Angular allow us to run JavaScript on the back end, but we also need to pick up something like Node.js in order to achieve that. We also need to pick up SQL skills. And this is either knowing how to create databases with either SQL Server, MySQL or PostgreSQL. There's a lot of um, um, database management systems out there, but those are the three main ones that you want to look into. If you look at what we do here at Coder Foundry, we teach ASP.NET with C Sharp running on the back end, HTML, CSS, JavaScript on the front end. And that's our full stack stack that we teach at our school, but there's other stacks that you can learn, like we talked about React, Angular. So what you want to do here by adding these skills, this puts you at the top end of full stack web development. And this is where the most of the jobs are at. It's also the highest paying jobs, but it takes a lot more skill and a lot more study to get there. But adding C sharp or some kind of server side language to your toolkit plus SQL plus HTML plus CSS plus JavaScript will allow you to become a full stack web developer. And you should be well on your way to getting that first software job. Now let's say that you don't want to build web applications or that's not particularly interesting to you. Uh, let's talk about two other jobs that you could pursue and what that looks like. First, let's talk about mobile development. Now mobile development is the, is the act of creating applications that run natively on iOS or Android, the two prominent um, operating systems on phones today. Now, what you can do on the Apple side or the iOS side is use something called Objective-C or Swift right now, and you can build an application that runs natively on that phone only, meaning that code will only execute on iOS. Or you can use the Android development kit and use something like Java to create an Android app that would only run on Android devices. What I'm going to give you is what I think you should do is look at cross-platform mobile development. And cross-platform mobile development allows you to write one code base that will run on both platforms. And I think there's three primary ways that you can achieve this. The first one is Xamarin, which is primarily C Sharp and the thing that we teach here at Coder Foundry that allows you to use C Sharp to build an application that will run natively on iOS and Android. The other one is Flutter from Google, and that would allow you to build an iOS app and an Android app with something called Dart or Gov. And the final thing is you also can use is React. And React Native allows you to build applications that will also run on both platforms. But I think if you're gonna go into mobile development, you really need to look at cross-platform mobile development because most enterprises are gonna to want to write with one code base and then push those to multiple platforms. Now, the other job that we could look at is desktop development. And I really believe that there's one primary way to do this, and that is Windows desktop development. Yes, you can build things for the Mac, and yes, you can build things for Linux desktop, but I think most of the jobs occur on the Windows platform still, as we see here today in 2020. And there's a couple of ways you can do that, and that is Windows Presentation Foundation, which or WPF, or WIM forms, and this is primarily a C-sharp skill set. And that's what you wanna um, study and learn if that's the type of applications that you want to build. So to wrap this up, can I get a job just knowing HTML and CSS? And the answer is absolutely yes. But you can also progress to level two by adding JavaScript and then also add a server side language like C Sharp and also adding SQL and become a full stack developer. And between each of these levels, as you increase the knowledge of the things you know, you will make more money. 
but just knowing HTML, CSS can actually get you a job. Now, the one thing that you need to understand is you will have to have a portfolio to demonstrate your knowledge, either at level one, two, or three to prospective employers. So having a rock star portfolio is absolutely necessary to breaking into that first software job. So I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.